guys! I've recently discovered an amazing new notebook company and I wanted to share it with you. The company is called Compoco and they make these amazing notebooks with fantastic cover designs, but for some reason they don't seem to be very well known. There are only a couple of videos about them on YouTube. I found out about them from a channel called Calligraphy Gems, which I'll leave linked down below, and I just don't know why they're not more popular because they are truly awesome. So the company is based in Israel and they have a website and also an Etsy shop. I ordered mine from their website and they came incredibly quickly. They arrived in the UK within like two or three days. I was amazed. So they have about five different designs. They are A5 hardback dot grid or line journals. I chose dot grid, obviously, and they are perfect for bullet journaling or any kind of journaling. They have really high quality paper, which takes fountain pens excellently. I'll show you a pen test in a minute. And one of the most appealing aspects about them is that they have these incredible, whimsical, very detailed, beautiful cover designs. So let me show you the two that I ordered in detail. This is the I Need My Space, and it has this incredible design with a coffee cup full of galaxy symbols, and then you can see that there are coffee beans all around here, and here there are coffee pots and more galaxy designs with some cupcakes, and down below you have some moon phases and other galaxy designs. The cover is a smooth faux leather, kind of like the Leuchtturm hardbacks, I would say, in texture, and you can see all of this amazing holo detailing, which really makes these stand out. Rounded corners, and they they also have this beautiful metallic blue edging. So each of the designs has metallic edges and the colors will change to complement the image on the cover. You can see it also has an elastic, which feels quite sturdy, but I've only just got these, so I don't know how well it holds up yet. So we can see that this is the side, it's completely blank, and then on the back it's also blank, except that it has the company's logo here, and it has this little coffee cup symbol, so it's really cute. And then the elastic is obviously in a different shade of blue, which complements the dark blue of the cover quite nicely. It seems to be quite a standard A5 size. Compared to an Archer and Olive, it's the same height, and just a smidge wide so you can see this is what they look like from the top. Now it looks quite a bit thinner than the Archer and Olive, but it actually has quite a few more pages. The Archer and Olive has 160 pages, whereas the Compoco has 192, and that's because the paper is thinner. The Archer and Olive paper is famously 160 GSM, whereas this is 100 GSM. But it's very good quality paper and it really stands up well to fountain pens. So I'm not sure how well this would work if you wanted to like say use watercolors or other kind of paints. But if you just want it for like pens and stickers then it's perfect. So you can see it has this really cool end paper which echoes the galaxy theme and it has a little telescope down here and there are all kinds of details that you can see if you look like this shooting star and different planets and stars of different sizes. The end paper is pretty thin. I would say maybe 120 GSM at a guess. And then it has this really cool belongs to page here, which continues on with the design of the coffee pots and the cupcakes and the galaxy symbols. And I think it's really adorable because instead of saying this book belongs to or something like that, it says this little universe belongs to. And then it has another cup of coffee down here and some more galaxy symbols. So I think that this is really nice. And then it goes straight into the journal. It has a blank page on the left and then you can see the dot grid. So the dots are are five millimeters and they're a pretty light gray. Compared to, for example, Archer and Olive, the dots are a lot smaller and I would say that they're about the same size as the Leuchtturm dots, but they're a much milder, fainter gray. So they really fade into the background if you don't want them, but they're still there if you need them, which is great. It doesn't have numbered pages, but it does have a very nice margin on all four sides, which I like a lot because that means that your writing is framed very neatly instead of the dots going all the way to the end of the page. And in case you're wondering, it lies perfectly flat. Behold the beauty. It also has two bookmarks in different shades of blue that complement the cover, which I think is a really nice touch. And then at the end, it gives you four blank perforated pages, so eight sides. And we have a pocket at the end, which has a gusset made out of some kind of quite sturdy feeling white fabric. And the design goes onto the inside of the pocket as well, which is really cool. And that's it. So, let me just show you the other one that I got. This is the Good Luck Black Cat, and this one again has an amazing design on the cover. So this one is black and gold, and you can see the gold foiling here, really, really beautiful. And I just love all of these little details. So I'm a dog person, I have three dogs, I don't have any cats, but I think that this was just so delightful and enchanting. Look how happy this is. So here is the Black Cat, and then it has all kinds of cat-themed goodness on the cover. So you have some fish skeletons here, you have some 
yarn and knitting needles. You have some paw prints. And one of my favorite details here is these two tins of sardines at the bottom. I think that's really cute. And then there's some hearts as well. And here are some hearts on all four corners. And I think it's just a really striking design. And the more you look at it, the more fun it is. So just like the other one, it has foiled edges. This time it's gold foil. On the back, it has this adorable black cat and the company logo, and then it has a black elastic. So I think that this one is just really, really stunning. It's such a striking design, and I think it will just be such a fantastic companion when you're journaling. As soon as you see the cover, it just inspires you and makes you want to open it. So on the inside, it has these really cool end papers. Here's the black cat's eyes in the darkness, and it says, This black cat has got your back. Good fortune follows in his wake. I love that. And so one of the things that I like about these is that every design is really different and they've put a lot of thought into it and you can see that in the details. So here the belongs to page has gold printing. It's not gold foiled, it's just gold printing. And it says, if lost, please return to. So it has the paw prints here and like some of the designs from the cover, like the hearts. And it looks completely different than the Galaxy belongs to page. So I think that that's a really nice touch. Then again, we go straight into the dot grid pages and that carries on until the end of the book where you've got your four perforated pages. And then here we come to the pen test. So as you can see here, I tried this with a whole bunch of different fountain pens and different inks, and these pens all have different nib sizes ranging from fine to broad, so you can really get a feel for how this will hold up. And here are the results. Absolutely no bleed through. Some ghosting, which I think is not surprising because it's not super thick paper, it's 100 GSM, but it holds up really, really well. Sometimes there's a slight indication that it might be about to bleed through, but it never did. In terms of the drying time, it doesn't dry as quickly as Archer and Olive paper, which is my only experience of the really thick paper. That's one of the things that I enjoy about Archer and Olive, which is what I'm using now for my journal, because that dries really quickly. As you can see here, I closed the book after, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds, and there was no smudging except this black ink, which for some reason seems to take longer to dry than my other inks in general. But I'm really happy with it. I think for my purposes, which is long form journaling, that it will work really well. And I like the fact that it has these perforated blank pages at the back, because that means that if you want to do a pen test and then tear it out, you can, and it doesn't really interfere with your actual journaling space. And then here we have the little black cat at the back, and you've got the same message at the back and you have this pocket and inside it also has the same message if you can see inside the pocket there and this one has a black cloth gusset now each of the notebooks also came with a free sticker this one says i have an insane calling to be where i'm not and then this one is just a, like a kind of mountain design and they're both foiled. I think they have about five designs. There are these two. There's one that's based on travel. There's another one that's based on astrology. There's one that has a firefly on it. They're really interesting and nice designs. These were just my two favorites, but I was quite torn because I liked some of the other ones as well. They also have these same designs on a range of other products. So for example, they have keychains, they have stickers, they have washi tape. It's definitely worth checking out their site because they have all kinds of cool stuff and they have really unusual innovative designs. So I'll leave the website and the Etsy shop link down below and I recommend that you go and check them out because I think that they should become more widespread and we should see lots more Kompoko journal videos on YouTube. I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye!